straw, took my final straw. So when you have 6 plus 2y equals 7, um, again, in the other one, we have y equals uh, 2 minus 3x. Again, we're looking at substitution. It's important, guys, if you don't have a variable that's isolated, to isolate a variable. But this one, we can see that we, a y is by itself. So we have to make sure that um, we now know the value of y. So that's what I'm going to want to plug into, into my other equation. So in this case, I'll have 6x plus 2 times y. Well, y is equal to 2 minus 3x. And that's equal to 7. Now we just go and simplify. So I apply distributive property. So I have 6x plus 4 minus 6x equals 7. And what you guys notice is I have my x's on the same side. 6x minus 6x, that's going to go to 0x, which is just 0. And I end up with an equation that gives me 4 is equal to 7, which is obviously not true, right? So since this is not true, we have a case now where our solution is going to have no solutions. We don't have a value for x. That means they don't intersect at any value. So if they don't intersect, that means they're a case of parallel lines, which is no solution.